Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing today, I need you guys and girls help with some issues I'm having with that small Intel Bluetooth Wi-Fi card I bought a long time ago. And basically why I bought it was to able to get both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Basically, I used to use this in the old e-machine, okay? This is my TV Link wireless card. And this is the ASIL Bluetooth uh, dongle. It plugs into a USB port. I'm not gonna be using those, but this guy here works okay, just fine. But the problem I'm having is getting the drivers to work on the old e-machine itself. I googled it, I tried looking up the drivers for it, and I'm totally lost here because I can't figure it out, and it's like very uh, interesting. But I know Windows 7 works perfectly fine with some of my older stuff, but why is it not working with the code I have? I'm going to show you uh, basically what I mean. The reason why most people prefer a combo set is to basically get Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in one card. But the problem you have is finding the drivers. And that's the biggest problem I'm having is I can't find the drivers I'm looking for, but I can Google it and it's just like, huh, let me show you what I mean. I gotta take you off the tripod and show you what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm still using old Windows 7 on the old e-machine. Of course, that's the last version on this machine. But basically, let me show you what I'm trying to figure out and try to get to work on the old computer. I don't think it will. But basically, curious on what type of thing I'm trying to figure out. Alright, that is the Intel Citrino Wireless N6235 Toolband Wireless Card. That's basically what I have over here in the machine. Basically, right over here, this is the basically the adapter and the Wi Fi and Bluetooth card is down now. But are you curious on what I was originally using? Is my TV Link wireless card, and of course, the little USB uh, Bluetooth uh, unit. But I'm trying to figure this out, and I'm trying to download the drivers for this thing, and it's really kind of confusing. It's like, um, okay, why is this not working? Uh, basically, <laughs> but you can see, I got nothing here got no wi-fi no bluetooth but maybe you guys and girls can figure this out for me and try to see if you can leave a awesome comment with a link or something down below to see if i can get this uh intel wireless card to work on this old machine if not i may end up have to returning the adapter and basically get something different i don't know it just seems a little wheel to me but yes I can actually go to the Intel's website here to download the drivers for it but most of these drivers are basically a lot different for some of these codes don't know which one to get hmm fairly strange should I say I understand how computers work when you go buy something from your local Best Buy or something, it's like, hey, I want to use this in my computer. Basically, you buy a brand new internal wireless card, put it in your computer, and you find out it's like, wait a minute, why well, can't connect to the internet? And you're going to say, oh, I need to install a driver on the computer itself. And yes, some computers you're going to have to install your drivers basically for example like this tv link driver cd basically goes to my wireless card itself like this little guy right here 
Okay, TB Link wireless card. Okay, this card here fits perfectly fine in the computer, but the computer recognizes it once you install the uh, driver and stuff for it to uh, basically work. Same thing like this um, Bluetooth USB dongle, basically. It also has a driver as well. And basically what I'm trying to figure out, can this work on any computer? But you need some type of driver for it to work. Okay, maybe if you guys and girls can help me, that would be kind of nice. Trying to focus it for you. But it's a very nice wireless card and Wi-Fi to get all. Basically, it's a combo, uh, should I say. But let's go ahead and show you the computer. Of course, the computer works perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with the computer, okay. And you can see here is your drive or management. Basically, here's all your different components of your computer. But when you try to connect something like this, and you plug it into your computer, it basically will work just fine, but you need a driver for all these different uh, components here, uh, basically. It's very simple, not complicated, it's just you gotta understand how it all works. It does not matter what type of operating system you have, doesn't matter if it's Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. You still need the drivers for your stuff to basically work. Without the drivers, that stuff ain't gonna work. For example, like a printer comes with uh, software and stuff. But when you plug stuff into your computer, for example, like your wireless card, it also comes uh, with drivers. Without that driver, your Wi-Fi cards do not going to work. Basically, what I'm trying to show all my fans, it doesn't matter if you buy something like this, okay? You still need some type of driver for it to work. But, all right, let's show you basically what I mean on the old e-machine desktop computer. Let's go. Turn you guys this way. Okay. Basically, here's what the old machine is. It says, hey, new device. Okay. But what's very interesting there, Tubes. Okay, yes, I am connected to the internet by using the ethernet jack on the back of the machine. And of course, there is the little guy right there. Plugs into the computer. But yes, I can still go to uh, internet, should I say. That's basically what you can look for for this code if you're curious. It's a pretty nice code, okay? And yes, I was also looking it up on um, YouTube as well, okay? But still trying to figure out how to get it to work on the old machine, uh, should I say. Because I don't want to have to keep buying more and more different Bluetooth and wireless combo kits, uh, should I say. Basically, this is a separate Wi-Fi card, and this is a separate uh, USB dongle, should I say. But yeah, you can basically choose whatever you can use. This says wireless software and drivers for Windows 7. But that doesn't really do anything. That's just basically um, for the Bluetooth. Just look it up. Maybe you can help me. That would be kind of nice. Everybody thinks because you buy something, it's just going to automatically work in your computer. But when I have bought this TB Link wireless card, it actually came with its own drivers for it to work on this uh, computer. Basically, this is called a driver CD. Okay, basically right here. Okay, that's for this. Now, because I have bought 
this guy right here. Okay, it's very nice. Very comes in handy. But the one thing I don't have is the driver and soft roll for this little guy. Okay, that thing seems to fit perfectly fine, but you still need the driver for this to work. I can go on Intel's website and download the software uh, for this, but I don't know what type of software and drivers I need for this wireless Bluetooth code. Okay, we got two antennas. Okay, because it needs two, uh, should I say. But make sure you're going to be buying something. Make sure you have the driver CD uh, with it. If you don't, just go on Intel's website, see what you can find for your wireless and Bluetooth uh, code. But all right, I hope I kind of helped all you, but maybe you give me some advice and help as well. But basically, if you guys and girls are subscribing to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Catch you later, fans.